Hello, everyone. Thanks so much for logging on to CBSDenver.com. Time for a few more minutes with our Xfinity Monday live guest, Justin Leonard, joining us this evening, 12-time PGA Tour winner. We ended the show talking about GolfForever.com, your new business venture. It is so important for people to take care of their body because golf is such an unnatural sport. You have an unnatural swing. This is, this is something that if people go to GolfForever.com, it can help extend their playing careers, whether they're just a weekend warrior or somebody who's maybe an up and coming youth person. And it's not intimidating at all. And I know that's a really important part of what you guys stress, that this is something that is almost friendly to be a part of. It is. This is like the opposite of P90X or, you know, things like that. I mean, this is all about uh, core strengthening. Uh, there's a lot of stretch movements that going on. Uh, it's about building stability in your joints and your shoulders and your hips. Uh, and it, it's all about, it's not just for golf. This is for, uh, you know, a healthy lifestyle. And, um, you know, living here, I don't play golf as much as I do bike, ski, hike, mm -hmm. skin, those kind of things. And so, um, you know, golf is really the only recreational activity I think that people still partake in even when it makes it hurts uh, because they want to be out <laughs> on the golf course. They want to be with their friends or family. And so uh, if you're going to continue to do it, why not do it pain free? And at the same time, while you're alleviating that pain, maybe take a few strokes off your game. Golfforever.com, $9.99 a month, right, is, is what it is right yes. now. What, who came to you uh, about this? I know obviously you're partners with, with Dr. Jeremy James, but why was it so important for you to be a part of this? Was this something that you had dealt with throughout your career and something that you had thought about, hey, how do I maybe extend just the, the weekend part of it? I never personally had any back problems. Um, You're lucky playing the game. I'm lucky. <laughs> I never. I didn't swing hard enough to create that m enough, uh, you know, torque to 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 really do any damage. Uh, but I know plenty of people who do. And and this isn't really uh, necessarily for the professional golfer because you know the guys on tour they, they've got you know physical therapists and and workout gurus and and some of the best you know, people in their business, in, the, in their field, uh, in the country and in the world working for them. Um, we don't have all have access to that. And so this is a way to, um, to, to, to get one of those voices in, in that realm, which is Dr. Jeremy James, um, and to be able to hire him uh, as your, you know, your personal, um, you know, workout guru, uh, physical therapist, um, you know, soft tissue guy, uh, to be able to hire him for $9.99 a month and you can take him wherever you go, um, it's just, it's completely unique and it's just, it's something that, um, you know, I wanted to get involved in some things as I, as I stopped playing professionally and now, um, you know, wearing a headset mm -hmm. and a microphone, um, but it, and just wanted to find the right fit. Uh, and then when I, when I met with Jeremy about a year or so ago, um, just his passion for, for what he's doing um, for his profession and and just the the uniqueness of this product uh, really drew me to it and and uh, it's been a fun ride so far. You mentioned you traded in the clubs for the headset. What has that transition been like for you? And uh, and was that something you always knew you wanted to do? No, I, I thought I was gonna win major championships <laughs> until I was 48 and then go design <laughs> golf courses for the next 25 years. Um, neither of those seem to be panning out. So uh, it's, it's funny, it came up about four years ago, uh, I was having a conversation with a my friend of mine who was doing some work during the US Open and, and he said, you know, this might be something I, that I might be interested in somewhere down the road and kind of got the wheels turning and then I uh, ran into a friend who I now work with, Steve Sands, um, at a charity event and I, I pulled him into a corner at a table um, grabbed a couple drinks and I, I, I chewed on his ear for about an hour and a half on, you know, just what he thought and, and, and those kind of things. And that led to another phone call, which led to a meeting. And, you know, all of a sudden, three years later, I'm, I'm you know, doing some work with another network in the uh, Golf Channel. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, and, uh, but I, I'm really enjoying it. It's fun to be in kind of a team atmosphere. Yeah. Golf is such an individual sport. Um, and I, I still love the game. I just don't necessarily love my game anymore. Fair. And so um, it, it's a way to kind of give back, to educate, um, you know, 
uh, fans of the game as far as what's going on in a player's mind. And, and, you know, all those things, it's a work in progress. I am a work in progress. Um, but I'm enjoying the work. And, and I think that's something that I enjoyed about playing was – the process of trying to get better and improve, and, and I'm able to do that now with my broadcasting Is it difficult career. for you to be honest as a broadcaster or, or open and maybe say the things that you want to say? Because I imagine there are guys on tour that you played with yes, and that you're friends with. Absolutely. Is that difficult? So I've got a couple of things related to that. Um, last year, I, I was doing uh, like a, a studio show, so a pregame show for the U.S. Open at Shinnecock Hills. And on Saturday, that's when Phil Mickelson, well, I went the wrong direction. He ran down and, and hit the putt yeah. as it was oh, moving. Yeah. And, oh, yeah. You know, should he be disqualified? Should he not? This and that. And, uh, and so I knew, like, Sunday morning, that was going to be the topic mm -hmm. of our first couple of segments. And, and I really thought, you know what? Yeah, he, I think he should be disqualified. And I thought, ooh, you know, do I really want to go there? <laughs> I mean, that's, you know, it, it's, that's kind of going against, you know, uh, he's a very popular mm -hmm. figure in the game. And. And uh, so when I got, we had our, our pre-show meeting, I said, yeah, that's where I'm going. They're like, are you sure? I'm like, yeah, I'm sure. This is where I need to go. And, uh, and I caught, and I, I, I went there and I, I got so much freedom from that movement in that, um, you know, I wasn't trying to demean or belittle right. a, a player. I was just giving my opinion and that's really what they're paying me to do. So there, that was my moment of freedom of, you know what, I, I, I'm giving my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, there's ways to do it. There's certain words I won't use. Choke is not a word that I, I will ever say. Um, I imagine because you hated it when people other way, might say that yeah, about you. Yeah, sure, sure. And I, it's just such a dirty word to a professional golfer. Um, you know, there's other ways to say choke, like, oh, the pressure may be more than he's ready for <laughs> at this moment. You know, those kind of things. So got to gently skirt around gently it. Gently skirt around. But, um, but I, I'm, you know, my job is to give my opinion. And if it's critical, then it need, I need to be critical. And I think that's something... Since that moment last year at the U.S. Open, um, I, I found that freedom. And, and you know, our, the things that I do and that we do as broadcasters, they're not for the players. Mm -hmm. They're for the fans. Right. And I think too many times, um, you know, it's, it's easy to get wrapped up in, okay, what are the players thinking? Well, there's only 150 of them. Hopefully we've got, you know, millions or whatever people watching at home. And, and that's who we're talking to, not the players. You know, it's not Justin Thomas's mom or dad that I'm trying to please, not trying to please anybody. I'm just trying to give my opinion. Um, and so I, I've enjoyed that process um, of getting there. Still a work in progress. Well, we've enjoyed watching you on TV. We Thank certainly you. enjoyed having you on the show tonight. Best of luck uh, with GolfForever.com. Make sure you go check that thank out. You. And uh, Justin Leonard, man, great guest. Really enjoyed having you on. Thanks so much. And thank you for logging on to CBSDenver.com.